Cooker? How about something about be on vacation? Was that about you? What's up? I was wondering. I was like, what? Oh, we're live now, bud. All right, we're live. My bad. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode number 20 of Big Time Reality TV. My name is Andrew Kirk. You guys can find me on Twitter at CSUA Kirk and the blog. I haven't posted one in a while, but I'll definitely get some going soon. Uh, Big Time Reality TV.blogspot.com. Unfortunately, you can't see Tony, but I do have him on the line. He's on this season of Real World Skeletons, making a big making a big splash. I'm sure we'll see him on many shows to come. Tony Raines, how are we doing, sir? Doing good, doing good. Sorry about the technical uh, difficulties that I've been having. Oh, uh, no uh, worries. Yeah, it's, it's good to be on the show, man. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Sam. Oh, no problem, man. I'm definitely definitely glad to have you. I've, had, I've spoken with uh, three, three of your roommates prior to this, so... Definitely glad to have you on. Hey, who are the other three roommates again? It was Bruno, Violetta, and who? Yeah, Sylvia. Oh, and Sylvia, okay. Yeah. So I want to let you guys know, if you guys are, uh, if, if you guys want to ask Tony a question, use the hashtag AskTonyMTV on Twitter. And first thing I want to know, I heard this on an interview I think Merch did. I believe it was with Sylvia. Um, Somebody out from what I heard, from what I've heard, Tony. Somebody else tried out, and you were a reference for that. If you want to explain that real quick of how you got onto the show. Yeah, my buddy, my buddy Nick. Um, well, I mean, one of my best friends. He he actually did a, a casting call in California for Real World, and he made it through a few rounds or whatever, and he he wound up flying down to Louisiana, our hometown, and he had to make a home video. Well, I was in the home video. They, I guess they, they spotted me at the home video, and they're like, "Well, who, who's your friend? You know, well, can we talk to him?" And they wound up kind of putting me in the process of it. So it was kind of just luck of the draw, and um, I went ahead and I went through the steps, and here, here I am talking to you. Man, was he a little bit jealous, a little bit bitter that you made it over him? Well, not. I mean, not really, because you know we looked at it like we looked at it. You know, if, if he made it on the show, then I made it. You know, if, if I made it, then he made it. You know, because that's my boy. So I'm, I'm 100 broke code with that. So um, mm -hmm. you know, there's there's really no there's really no envy on that. I mean, if, if there is, he hasn't told me. Mm -hmm. So let me get to some questions. Uh, let me see. Ask Ask Tony MTV on Twitter uh, once again, guys. We got. It says we have 20 viewers in here, so we got a lot. Um, I'm just gonna get right to it with your skeleton. You, you had a, you had probably the best skeleton so far, both Alyssa and uh, Elizabeth. And Hunter Dillon wants to know, Hunter Dillon 19, how's it when you had both your exes? And I'm gonna add Madison to that question in the house at the same time. You're saying like, how, how was it having all three of them there at the same time? Yeah. Um, you know. When when Elizabeth showed up, I, I was very surprised. I was she was so against me going because you know at, at the time when I was going through the process of getting on the real world, she was you know she was my girlfriend at the time, so she was she was really against it. Um, so for her to show up, it was it was very surprising to me. Uh, we we had broken up right before I went on the show for obvious reasons, and uh, so it's when she showed up, it was kind of like oh shit, like how am I going to deal with this? You were like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it was, wait, 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 uh, Alyssa, Alyssa surprised me for the simple fact that I thought she was going to fly up there with my brother just to visit, you know, because we can have visitors, like, that we invited. So I thought she was going to come at a later time, but she shared up at the same time Elizabeth was there. So then, you know, obviously I see her and she says, oh, hey, Chuck Rains. And I'm like, oh, shit, I have one guy's side. I'm just, I'm trying to get my thoughts together, like, okay, how am I going to handle this now? And I just went that mode to where whatever girl... Whatever girl needed some attention at the time, or whatever girl I needed, you know, I needed to talk to at the time, that's what I was going to do. I was just going to try to hit up the best I could. And I know I got Madison there, and Madison really, to be honest, I think she jumped on me a little bit. She teamed up with a 
remember. So when I was in the shower, but Madison really, Madison really made it easy for me um, while my two skeletons were there. And yeah, you know, that, I, I really feel like that's why after my skeleton left, you see uh, I kind of, I'm even more drawn into Madison. Um, she just, I, I don't know, it, it's something I can't even describe. Like you would literally have to like get to know her. Um, mm-hmm. On a personal level, the, the same way I did to understand how comfortable she she made me, and they may not show it on MTV that much, but she, um, you know, she definitely she she made it easier. She, she made it a whole lot easier because she could have flipped out, she could have made my life even more of a living hell. But um, you know, I, I definitely you know my hats off to her. Mm-hmm. A follow up question from at Daniel Hubbard just came in. When did you realize you first had feelings for Madison? When did I? Yeah, when did you realize it? You know, that, that, that's a tough question. Um, immediately, I, I, immediately, I felt something for it. You know, it was, um, it was an immediate attraction. I would say around maybe like the third, like that, that whole first week when we were getting to really know each other, I, I, I started to feel like I was going to have that connection with Matt. And... It was just something I couldn't fight. Um, and I, I, I tried to. I really, really tried to. I bet. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that first week, yeah, I'm not instantly felt that connection with her. And I hate to say, I mean, a lot of people think I'm stupid, like, oh, my God, what are you doing? But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't necessarily want to go out there to find something like that, but it just, it, it fell in my lap. And eventually it was something I'd been fighting more. So, you know, we, we got together. Yeah, I bet. Um, like, in your opinion, how much is one? Like in real time, how is how much is one day in the real world house? How much is one day? In the yeah, real world? like like a week or something. Because yeah, you guys spend every episode. Yeah, no, like you guys spend like twenty four hours a day for three months. So I mean, it's it's evident. Like every, we see every season that we see people hook up. So I mean, like how like how much time do you feel like it is in 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 the house? when it's kind of rephrase this question like you, you know you know because i mean you spend like every single minute with with these people and uh god i know it sounded so good in my head but now i'm forgetting it <laughs> my bad <laughs> well no i mean i mean what you what, what you see on tv may be three minutes of a 24-hour day for me uh-huh you know um I'm, I'm thinking back on this on this scene where me and me and Madison being made official. That that what you seen? They, I mean, there was there was a whole day and a whole process and just you know there, there were there were a lot of other things that went on for me to kind of really understand and realize they had to do with this girl. So um, you know, I could say 24 hours is compressed into three minutes of what you see. Mm-hmm. Um, at Zuli underscore X wants to know. Um, I'm going to ask the second part of the question. Do you know if the skeletons are going to be on the reunion? No, I have no idea. Okay. No idea. They haven't contacted us about that, so I have no idea. Are you guys headed to New York anytime soon? I haven't received any email. I haven't received any call about going to New York or L.A. Oh, to man. York. That's not, that's not good. Um... Another good question. We were talking about the challenge before we went live. Um, at at Quiseta, if I mispronounced that wrong, Ashley underscore wants to know if they did a co-ed rivals, who would you pref- be? Who would you prefer as your partner, Sylvia or V? As my rival? Yeah, if it was co-ed. If it was co-ed, my rival, I would say Violetta. Ooh, I, I, I would like that. She looks like she won't take shit for nobody. Well, yeah, and, and that's the thing, you know. She likes she likes the press buttons. Um, you know, she she got her own issues that like she deals with, and you know, we we both said a few times in the house. Um, I think during the show we might have, they might have shown one or two of the arguments that we had, but um, yeah, we um, I, I would say if it was Khaled, uh, I'd have to go with the other. Which I mean, Sylvia too. It's about what part because. And so you had a few moments to where, uh, I mean, they, they didn't show it. I don't know if they're going to show it yet, but we, we, had a, we had a few moments to where, you know, things got a little heated between me and her. And um, so 
So yeah, it's not what what but if I had to choose, if I if it was up to me, I would say Yelena. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Sylvia, let's actually go back to before the skeletons were came came in. Uh, the whole bar tab thing. What 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 really happened with that bar tab, and like why did why did you guys have an exchange award, you and Sylvia? Oh well, thinking back on that, you know, and I'll get to see it third person. Um, I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a very easy going guy, so I look back on that. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why couldn't we just like just chill, like? You know, okay, we, we don't have enough money to cover the tab. Like, you don't have to put 200 bucks in this. You don't have to put 300 bucks in this. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, we'll talk to the producer. Like, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do something. Like, we didn't know it was going to be this high. A lot of people seen us there, you know, that first night, and they were like, okay, oh, it's, it's on a real world people. Like, and I think one girl even got fired from that place because she was taking orders from all the people that wasn't with us. Um, so that, that's how the tab got ran up so high. And, you know, Sylvia and Violetta, they just thought, I don't know what they thought, you know, uh, I'm honest really jumbled at the time. We were trying to wrap our head around everything. So they just like, okay, we've got to cover this. It looks bad on us. So I'll put, I'll put this much, I'll put this much. And I, I mean, I, I told them, look, I got, I got a hundred on it, you know, whatever. I don't know how much I drank, but I got a hundred on it. I don't know how I got to 800 or a thousand bucks, whatever it was. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I really, I really think we could have just handled that situation a little bit better. Yeah, definitely. Um, the thing about the real world is, and we've, finally found out this season that you guys don't get that much stuff free. Was there anything you guys got like supplied like in the refrigerator or anything like that? No, no, no. I mean, when we first got there, um, they had, they had the no hose, which is, uh, just like a hangover drink. They, they kept that stocked up for us. Um, they gave us a hundred bucks um, on a subway car each week. So I used to see the subway so much. Um, under armor, um, under armor, they threw us a few, few little gifts, you know, um, because I was a sponsor of the show, but as far as that, everything was on us. Mm -hmm. So, um, at Al, A, 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 Alexandria, underscore XOXO wants to know, um, who can you relate to most on the show and why? Who can I relate to most to, uh, I mean, Jason, and Addison are, I mean, that was like, you know, that, that was my go-to on the show. Um, Addison, she, you know, we, we shared something that I, I really can't even explain. Um, she, as, as far as God goes, Jason was, you, know, you see Jason on the season, he's like the voice of reason. He's very understanding. And, I mean, we bought Ted's a few times too, but, it, you know, we could always put the bullshit aside and, um, I would definitely say, you know, yeah, Jason, I, I don't know if he really came from a similar background, but because he grew up without a father, and I had a father for half of my life. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, as far as guys go, uh, Jason, I've definitely, you know, I, I really don't have the times. And with Madison, uh, you know, she can lean on me and I can lean on her whenever we needed to. So I would definitely say Jason and Madison were the two I could relate to most in the house. Mm -hmm. Um. Definitely, you got you guys. You guys are asking great questions tonight. I greatly appreciate it. Um, let me see here. Here's a good one uh, from at Jonathan underscore cells. Um, obviously, the next step for you if you want to keep doing these reality shows is a challenge. Would you ever do a challenge? And then, if so, who would you want on it? If I was to do a challenge, which of course I would do, if um, yeah, if it came about depends on the theme i know they do the x's um as far as i mean x's i i got three of them to choose from so uh if, if i if i had a choice out of Alyssa, elizabeth and madison which um i mean I, i'm not going to sit there and say madison is my ex but you know they, they could definitely try to try to play it that way uh I would want I would want Madison if it was a <clears throat> if it was a theme like that if it was a couple theme, but if it was a rival theme, um, you know I, I said it earlier Violetta, but I, I mean I, I would like to see me and Bruno. I'd like to see me and Bruno on there. And is that foreshadowing? Uh, uh, you know I, I, I'm just I, I got a feeling I got a feeling. Yeah, because I, I think I saw something I with you guys next week. Me and Bruno, me and 
grill and make good television as rivals. And, yeah. um, you know, they got a little something coming up this next episode to where you see uh, he doesn't really care for me too much. And, you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm not, like I said, I'm an easy girl for God. I'm always trying to be understanding, but I could definitely see that playing out as a rival situation. And, um, but yeah, if, if it was a couple, if it was a couple things, then of course, me and Madison, you know. Mm-hmm. I, um, I know you've been to LA a bunch of times. Who have you met from the MTV family? Oh, um, well, I've, I've hung out with the Are You the One Girls. Um, I've hung out with them a little bit. The Goon Squad. And yeah, the Goon Squad. Yeah, yeah good the people. Squad. They're uh, they, they're pretty. They're pretty crazy. They're pretty wild. It, it, was, it was definitely a good time hanging out with those good girls. And um, I mean, I'm looking forward to definitely hanging out with them again in the future. So. Uh huh. And uh, I think I, I think I heard heard you met a, a old guest on my show, uh, Jamie Larson. Did you meet her? Jamie, no, actually, I missed. I was going to see Jamie. Oh, I had a. He's I great. Had a, go back to Louisiana the night we were supposed to go uh, host an event for a premiere party. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to see her, but hopefully, I get to. And Corey from last season, I've, I've been talking to him. And, Hopefully in the near future we can all kind of get together. I would love to, to talk talk with them and kind of, you know, um, chop it up with them about how their experience was and how mine was and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I, got, I got to tell you, man, you definitely, you probably went through the toughest week on of anybody in, in, a, rural, in a rural season, going through two, two, two of your exes plus the girl that you've been hooking up with. I mean, what, I mean, you already explained a little bit, but what was going through your head and do you feel like any of the other roommates, you don't have to say who, do you feel like any of the other roommates had a worse time with their skeleton in the house? I don't think, I don't think you could get any worse than what happened with me. Just yeah. as far as, you know, emotions and, you know, because I, I mean, I, I, care, I care about all three of those girls, you know, and, and, and it was really, really it, was, it was tough on me, it was tough on me. I mean, Obviously, at first, you see, I'm trying to handle it, just trying to be smooth and trying to be cool and stuff like that. You know, I reached my bullet point um, that one night when I punched the wall. Um, but if I had to say anybody else had it a little tougher than me uh, on an emotional level, it would be Jason. And you'll see that at the end of the season, um, what goes on with him. But that, that's more of a, I guess you could say that's more of a, I don't want to say personal thing, but. It's a, it's a life-altering situation that, that he went through. And it almost makes you want to choke up right now thinking about it because um, I've seen the previews and, and I've never going down. And, and we've talked about it many a times. But, um, yeah, Jason, Jason definitely, you know, he, he's right up there with me as far as on a serious level. Mm-hmm. Uh, the skeleton situation. Oh, yeah. Um, one person, what, okay. At Jennifer Colley Seven wants to know how many more episodes do we have? Uh, we got. Let's see. We got. I think we got four. I think we got four more. So mm-hmm. We got about another more mm-hmm. for a wrap up. And then, um, ooh, this is a good one. Just came in. At Courtney underscore X Two wants to wants you wants your opinion on who is the hottest ch- real world challenger in your opinion. Oh, on the challenge, she's the hottest one. Uh huh. Like Jenna. <laughs> hey, that makes two of us. I feel like she's the hottest one in the yeah, house. Man, they're, 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 you know, I mean, I've said they, they're blonde. You know, they 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 catch my eyes. So I like Jenna, man. I like Jenna a lot. Uh huh. You know, she's pretty hot. Yeah. That makes two of us. I feel like she's the hottest one in the house this season. <laughs> not the not the brightest one sometimes, but she's definitely hot. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh huh. Um, are you familiar with the challenges? Like, have you watched a lot of them in the past? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, I, I try to keep up with it best I can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, how would you feel with a? I'm hoping they do this. If not next season, season after, how would you feel uh, with the battle of the seasons format with you and three of your roommates? Don't do that for the next season. I'm going to be disappointed because if we could get the wolf back on there, 
Yeah, you will. And especially uh, the, I mean, the, 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 the last three. Down, 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 down. I, I know the competitive spirit I have in mind in my body. I know, I know Jason is, is an athlete to the source. I know Bruno, um, his will and his drive, his determination, is, you know, and, and Nicole's athleticism. It would just, you know, I mean, we would kill. We would kill. Yeah, you would. Um, we got to talk about one of these skeletons last week. Um, what, was it, what, what was it with you and uh, Miss Jess? Tell us about Jess. Oh, Jessica. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, it, <laughs> she um, man, she she was she she was hot, you know. When she walked in, I was just like, oh man, this is gonna be trouble for me. <laughs> and I was I was glad I was glad that I could work this up and charm, you know, a little bit enough to you know for us to uh spend the night in the same bed together. Out of the four girls that we've seen you hook up with that were on the show, uh, do you keep in touch with all of them? Is there one of them that you don't keep in touch with now? You don't have to tell us where you stand with them. Um, so I should I should have got I should have talked about this when we were talking about Bruno. But who ate the damn burger? Oh, that was me and Jason. Okay, yeah, they don't show it, but like we went out, okay. And Bruno stayed home because, like, at this point in the season, we don't see like Bruno's kind of started like secluding himself from us a little bit. You know, he got a relationship up there and whatever. So we went out and Bruno stayed home. Well, we came back from going out. We did a little big drink. We came back from going out. We were chilling, like we wanted to kind of like, you know, kind of re-amp up a little bit, and I don't know, man, we wanted to get a little food, so I opened a microwave, and for me at my house, you know, I, I mean, I'm from the South, so it's like everybody's friendly, everybody, you know, we don't give a fuck, like, if you're hungry, you better, I don't care if it's my last, whatever, it's my last piece of food I got, you better eat it if you're hungry, so when I opened a, when I opened a microwave and I've seen the burger, and now I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Like, we got a little food for, we can re-energize, go back out and rage. Well, got the burger, and Jason was like, ooh, man, you know, ooh, is it, 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 it warmed up, is it hot? I said, man, it's hot enough. Me and Jason want to split the burger. And then we went back out, you know, we went down to L.F.A., we had a good time, we come back in, uh, I had a little altercation. And they don't show, they don't really elaborate on it, but 
Jason was actually wearing my, my white uh, snapback and it fell on the ground. Well, I reached down to go pick it up at the club and I bumped into a girl. I give Jason nothing that's a deal. I give the hat back to Jason. And I got, I'm guessing that this girl like went off and told her boyfriend that I bumped into her. The guy come back out of nowhere, sucker punches me. I ran back, I popped him. Security is over there, breaks up the club, and then we get back home. And I'm sitting there, we're talking about it, you know, and, and the girl is just like, hey, go eat my fucking burger. And I'm like, dude, I eat your burger? Sorry, I popped him in the face. And he's just, yeah, he's not sentimental about it at all. He's just like, okay, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care if somebody pops you in the face just for you. And, um, you know, and, and that, that's how that went down. But yeah, it was me and Jason that definitely, you know, we split that burger. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I can't believe they made like a whole five minutes of that. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, it was. It, it really, really was. Yeah, how, how long was that in real time? Like, how long was that argument? Uh, it was it was about as long as y'all seen. Really, I mean, maybe a few minutes longer, but now they had a little few little things in there that they didn't show. But that was pretty much it. I mean, that, that, they, they put that out there. They, whatever they filmed and y'all seen, that was, that was pretty much it. Mm-hmm. Let's get a couple more questions. I definitely appreciate you coming on. Oh, I don't know if I should ask this one. Do you want to play? Do you want? Do you know that game? Fuck Mary Kill. Yeah. Somebody, somebody wants. Somebody wants me to give it to you, and I don't know if I want to. It's with it's with the three girls, excluding Madison. You can play it if you want. It's, it's excluding Madison. Yeah, it's with Elizabeth, Jess, and Alyssa. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill any of them, so this might be a pass on my question. <laughs> All right, I'm cool with that. <laughs> that's, that's not my personality. That's not, not, that's not me. <laughs> oh, let me see here. Ooh, this is a good one. At erase Lee X fifteen underscore. Who was your favorite skeleton? Not counting Jess. Favorite skeleton, not counting guests. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I love Nicole's sisters. I love them. They they were just God. It was full of energy. So much fun. Uh, besides them, I you know I don't want to give it away, but um, uh, you know you'll, you'll see what happens with me and Brian. Um, uh, let's see. Of course, I like Jessica. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty obvious. Uh. How was Tia on the show? It seemed like we didn't see much of her. Was she was she cool in the house? Who's that, Jessica? Uh, her fr- uh, the other girl. Oh, Tia. Yeah. Uh, Tia. Tia was cool, but Tia, I think she let the cameras and stuff bother her, and she really didn't open up. And you know, um, I don't think that's why she got a whole lot of camera time. She just wasn't very comfortable. But you know, she was she really wasn't like you know they make fun of her about the honesty thing and stuff like that. But, she really was a down to earth, really cool girl. She was. Mm. Was there anything going on between her and Jason? Well, I was, I was definitely plotting on Jessica, and Jason was, you know, he was plotting on Tia. He had that in the back of his mind, like, man, if I could, if I could hook up with her, if I could just get one night just to see what happens. Um, that that was, I mean, you know, that that was his mindset, but. I don't, I don't know. I can't really remember. I was kind of doing my own thing. I don't know if, you know, they really hooked it up. I know, um, I know he was trying, but mm-hmm. uh, I'll, I'll have to ask just, uh, Jason about that. Oh, man, he, he, he's, he's hilarious. I, I'm looking forward to seeing more from him. I feel like we don't see, no, see enough of Jason. It, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. It's, it's I bet. Be, uh, it actually got two skeletons in both of my teenage sugars, so. I'm telling you, every time I think about it, it makes you want to start crying. Mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a pussy by no means, but, um, you know, that's something really serious. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Nicole Skeleton, and then we'll just wrap it up here. Um, did you guys, like, did you guys feel like they were favoring Nicole in a way for, like, oh, they brought they brought in your girlfriends, they brought in Sylvia's boss, Violetta's enemies, but they brought Nicole to her twins, to her, her triplets' sisters. Uh, do you feel like they were favoring her anywhere, or do you feel like is there a possibility that there was an ex that turned down the offer or something like that? I 
think there might have been something else to that, but it just didn't pan out. And with the sisters coming in, um, you know, there, there was there was definitely a story on that. Yeah, definitely. She was, you know, she, she, she was a lesbian. The other two wasn't. They're tied down now. They were all 23, 24 years old. Um, and she was, it, it was almost like she was the outcast. So there, there was definitely something there, an issue there that needed to be kind of discussed. And mm-hmm. I'm glad, you know, of course, I'm glad for Nicole that it worked out like that. She she definitely had the best time with her skeletons. Um, and I'm happy for Nicole for that. You know, I don't, I don't think they should have appeared to them, but... Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy that it, it turned out that, that good for Nicole. And there, there were some other issues with Nicole that I don't know if they'll show later on, but me and I had a little personal talk. There, there were some other things that went on in her life that people don't know about. So um, a lot of respect for Nicole. And I'm, I'm glad that her sister did come up. You know, we needed that at that time because it was, it was a very stressful time up to that moment. Mm-hmm. And to have that escape from the drama, to just seeing like a connection with family and the love, you know, it, it was something really special, you know, it, again, it makes me want to choke up, uh, and then, and then, like, even with this week, uh, coming up, that's still coming up with, uh, with my brother coming out just to visit me, um, you know, that's another little family thing that I, I feel like I needed because I was under so much stress up to that point, so, yeah, for the, for the cold, for the cold, though, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad it went down that way. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we got four more episodes left. I'm definitely enjoying the season. Like I told you last week, I feel like this season's been amazing. I mean, obviously the ratings could be a lot better, but I feel like with this twist, and you can agree or disagree with me on this, Tony, it shows you guys as individuals, not as like couples, like how I, how last season was with Explosion. Um, I, I feel like it's definitely a good concept. Do you feel like... Uh, do you, do you do you feel like this? Yeah, you know, when it was all said and done, that this uh, whole twist worked. I think it worked. Um, I was just talking about this earlier with a friend of mine. I know the first three or four episodes, it was delayed. There was no stuff like that. And I was like, "Fuck it, you know, we're right. We're gonna do it." Um, so I think it definitely worked. I know it's not where the explosion was last year because I think that was just such a surprise and such just like a new. Um, such a, a, a new twist on things and it really captured people's attention. Um, I think I think in TV definitely could have uh, promoted the skeleton, um, um, you know, in a little bit better. But I mean, I, I, I like it. You know, uh, I enjoyed it. I really do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, man. I'm not going to keep you any longer. I'm definitely glad to get the chance to finally talk to you, and uh, definitely hope to do it again real soon. Uh, where can people find you on social media? All right, man. Any, any, anything else? Any, is there anything you want you want to bring up that might have been edited wrong or something that you want to clear the air on? No, no, no. My, my edit, my edit's perfect. My edit's fine. I edit this who I am. So, just so, yeah. Hopefully, you get to see me grow a little bit more with the show. relationship thing that we've got going on. But all right man definitely want to thank everybody for tuning in and definitely want to hopefully hopefully we'll be doing a challenge one in the next couple days trying to reach out to um reaching out to the publicist to get one of one of these crazy people on but anyways tony thanks so much for coming on man and we'll definitely talk again soon All all right have a great have a great night and thanks everybody for tuning in